Hi, today's video is um, just giving you a few tips on how to get the best pictures for your fish. I've noticed um, online you get quite a lot of pictures that, that are what they, they could be, especially when you're on your own at night. So I'll just run off with the daily one, uh, with a daytime photographer. And um, just before I start that, I'm actually at Divine Fisheries in Accrington. Um, I'm on a session, um, there's, there's a break like, it's just nothing's happening so I thought I'd do this video while I'm here. Um, I've sold stock photography for a few years so I'm not an expert, I'm not a professional photographer but I do it on my way around a camera. Um, the main thing that to get a decent picture is you need the whole map and the body in frame whether it's day or night always leave a space around the edges on all four corners all four sides. Um, set your mat up Walk back and set your tripod up and put your phone in the tripod. Now the tripod I'm using is an NGT tripod, which is this one here. It's got a clamp on for that and I use this for the day photographer. If you're wondering how you get your pictures to take, you put it on selfie. And depending on the model of your camera, you can say, hey Google, take a picture or you can download an app. There's plenty of apps on the App Store and I, I, Apple Store or whatever that will automatically set the camera off with a voice. Um, so you've got your, your, your camera set up on your tripod. If you're on your own, what I suggest you do is put your mat where you're going to need it, set your tripod up, but the most important thing is make sure that the sun is behind the camera. You always need the sun to your back when you're taking the photograph or to the back of the camera. So when you're holding the fish, the sun is facing, you're facing the sun. Um, so we're taking it that we're on the zone. I'm on my own. So I would put my chair there, my coat, my jacket on the chair. I'd go over to the phone and focus on that bit and make sure I've got the space around. I'd sit on it and take a timer, I'd put it on salt timer, tell it to take a picture and I'd check that picture. Once that is sorted and I'm happy with the picture, it takes three or four or five. Once I'm happy with the, the settings on the camera and the position of the chair, I'll then take the chair off, move my mat away, and put a marker where my mat should be. Unless this is where you're going to un un up the fish, which I doubt. Or you could do, actually, move your tripod out of the way. But you always put a marker on it. And the same with the tripod. Put a marker where the tripod is, so that you've got the right distance. And all you've got to do, when you come to get a fish, you just plunk your phone in the bracket, set your camera up where your mark is, and then turn around, face it, and tell it to take a picture. And you can do that as many times as you want. Another good tip is you can actually put it on video, and then you can take a few shots out of your video once you finish when you get home. That's a good way. The only thing with that is that it's, it's only about a million and a half, two million pixel image, so it's hardly worth printing. If you want to get a decent picture and you want to print it, set your phone camera phone settings to the highest pixel. That way then you'll get a print. You'll always find when you get a phone, it's set on the lowest resolution and you need the highest resolution for a print. Just, just one thing to be aware of if ever you've got a picture you want to print. So that's your phone settings, set, set it to the highest pixels. Right, so we've done, the, we've done the photography in the day, even whether you're on your own or with you with somebody, you know, obviously you need the sun behind you. Now at night, I've got, it's a totally different kettle of fish at night, I've got a set of, um, what do you call them, solar lights. <laughs> I've got a set of solar lights, security lights, and I'll put them where my tripod is. Again, I set it up in the day and I leave markers there and I'll leave my phone in the tripod and I use a different tripod which I'll show you in a moment but I get these two lights that I've got it was £8 on eBay and I put them either side at the back of the camera so that when I've got it there I've got my tripod set up and the lights behind it now I'm going to move this tripod I'm going to get the night one that I use this was it was about £25-£30 from Home Bargains and it's a beauty light what these bloggers use for eBay and it's the same sort of situation now rather than move that away straight away I would have swapped it over 
leave that there, get this one set up, and then put it exactly same place, and then put the phone on here. Now, this one, the light is behind it, you see there, that the phone goes here, the light is behind it. You plug it into a power pack, and it gives you different light temperature settings and brightness settings. So you've not only got that for a light, you've got your other two lights either side of you, if you buy those. And it's the same, same thing, you've, you've marked it all out, you've got your markers here, and again, do this before it goes dark. Once it's set up, just put marker there and you, you're right. Um, but you must remember to frame your image so that you've got space all the way around. And, uh, and that's it. I, I hope you've um, taken something, I hope you've learned something, a few tips on this. I say the tripod there is an NGT one, about £15. This was about £25 from Home Bargains. And that's all you've got to do is make sure the sun's behind you, frame it, and away you go. And uh, I hope that helps. And thanks for watching.